Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Today, we're jumping into the festival playlist for Forza Horizon 5 and completing our very first weekly Forza Fun challenges. This week is called Wouldn't It Be Lovely? We'll be grabbing the all-important Forza points and the much-needed points towards the festival playlist. So if you're only around here, definitely consider subscribing. We are well on the way and trying to reach 20,000 subscribers. A like rating would be much appreciated. Let's go jump into this week's Forza Fun challenges. Now, as this is a skippy weekly Forza video and we are fresh on Forza Horizon 5, it is definitely worth mentioning that La Casa Solegra, I probably completely butchered that name, will double all Forza points for all Forza activities. It is quite expensive at 1.5 million credits, or it's free if you have the VIP pass. But like I say, it will double all Forza points for all Forza activities. Daily Forza challenges, weekly Forza challenges, and Forza lives every hour on the hour. Now for this week's thoughts on challenges, wouldn't it be lovely? We're going to be using the Nissan 2003 Fair Lady Z. It will set you back 35,000 credits at the auto show, or you can check out the auction house, see if any are being flogged for cheaper. I do have a tune available running 1,025 horsepower, four wheel drive near the top of S1. If you'd like to use that tune, just search my game tag Skippy4631 or the file name Skippy YouTube, just the same as it was Forza Horizon 4 to keep things nice and simple, nice and easy. Share codes for tunes will be in the description and in the comments below. And normally at this point in my weekly Forza on video, this is where I show you guys the Forza on shop. But currently the Forza on shop is unavailable, but we'll still run through the festival playlist rewards. Now the playlist does run on a point system this time, not a percentage system. I have completed it already. There is a live stream on the channel of me doing that. There'll be a link in the description for that live stream if you guys want to go and check that out. But for 16 points, we've got the Alpine A110 2017 and for 26 points, the Honda NSX RGT. Next reward on the festival playlist is the Porsche Macan PR for completing the seasonal or playground games off the grid. We've got some wheel spins up for grabs for completing the three PR stunts and then the Mercedes AMG E63 for completing this week's seasonal championship first course. We've got a couple of chat phrases for Forza Link. We've got beautiful and muhaha for completing the Eliminator and this week's photo challenge. And then we've got 25,000 credits up for grabs for earning five clean racing skills in Horizon Open. So with all that being said, let's head on over to this week's Forza and Challenges and get them completed. For 81 Forza and Points and five points towards our playlist, wouldn't it be lovely? Chapter one, Generation five. I have already completed this chapter just through testing the Nissan's tune, but we'll go ahead and complete it again anyway. Own and drive the highly regarded Japanese drift machine, the 2003 Nissan Fair Lady Z. Own and drive then just the same as it was in Forza Horizon 4. Hop outside into free roam from any of the festival sites or one of your houses. Drive two seconds down the road and you're going to see a notification at the bottom in the middle of your screen that will say Generation 5 completed. With Chapter 1, Generation 5 completed, it's on to Chapter 2, Kanze Drifto. Get straight down to business and earn 9 stars in total from Drift Zones with your Fair Lady Z03. Now, as we are all fairly new to Forza Horizon 5, you may not have any PR stunts on the map, which means you won't have any Drift Zones to go and do to complete this chapter. If this happens to be the case for you, you need to work through your Horizon Adventure chapters, earn some tokens to unlock the Horizon Rush Outpost. This will unlock all of your PR stunts. Once you have unlocked the Horizon Rush Outpost, your map is going to look a little bit something like this, littered with the PR stunts. What we're going to do though is filter by drift zones only, just make it a little bit easier to see and find. Now the drift zone we're going to be using for today's Forza on Challenges is located just outside of the Horizon Festival Mexico, the main festival site for Forza Horizon 5. It's called Gyro en Corvado. It's got a one-star rating of 2,500 points and a three-star rating of just 30,000 points. It makes getting those nine stars from drift zones really accessible. Here we go, nine stars in total from drift zones. Now you don't need to be good at drifting, you just got to earn some stars. That's why I've gone for a really low one star target. 
get the Nissan sideways, get some power on third gear all the way around. That is 40,000 points, a new personal best for me. That is three stars, just six more to go. So I'm going to flick the Nissan 350Z round. So I flicked the Nissan round. We're going to head back towards the drift zone, third gear, get it sideways, chuck her in. We're looking for 30,000 points if we can. There it is, 39,400, another three stars, which is three more to go. Let's whip the Nissan round again. Get power on back towards the drift zone into third gear. Get her sideways. We get another three stars to make it three runs. We can, 33,400, our third and final three stars. Gotta wait for our notification. Kanzi Dorifto completed. So with chapter two, Kanzi Dorifto completed. It is on to chapter three, multi-track drifting. Show us what you are really capable of and earn five ultimate drift or e-drift skills in your Fair Lady Z03. Now an ultimate drift or ultimate e-drift, e-drift is when you pull the handbrake to initiate the drift, it's when you hold a drift for a sustained amount of time. So we're going to do it on this corner here, I'm going to use third gear, we're going to pop the handbrake, get her sideways, a little bit of steering input, awesome e-drift, ultimate e-drift. We're going to do that five times to get this chapter complete. Fifth and final drift or e-drift skill, ultimate skill should I say. Get her sideways, whip it round, ultimate e-drift. And the bugs and glitches continue for Forza Horizon 5. I didn't actually get a notification for completing chapter 3, but that is multi-track drifting completed. On to our fourth and final chapter, drive it like you stole it. Tear up the streets and bank a total of 500,000 skill score with your Fair Lady Z03. Before you attempt this chapter, you might want to think about the car mastery for the Nissan Fair Lady Z. Make sure you've got some points available because there are some pretty handy perks. We've got skill chains ending one second later. Skill multiplier builds two times as fast. Drift and e-drift skill scores are increased by 20%. And we've got extra life. Two collisions to break that skill chain. Now for this chapter, I'm using the Horizon Mexico Festival site drag strip and I'm using the open areas to the left and the right to get myself some extra skill score. I'm looking for 100,000 times by five. That's the most multiplier you can get on the 3 of 50 z And of course, you don't have to do it all in one go. It is entirely up to you. You can do it in drifts and drafts. So I could bank my skill score now and then attempt another skill score and it will all add up. But doing it in one go is a bit more fun and it's a little bit quicker. So I'm looking for 100,000 times by five, just going careful not to crash. While I smash up some cactuses in the background, earning my 500,000 skill score, I want to give a massive, massive shout out to all the beautiful channel members. Bill, Strife, Speed, Brandy, Assumed, Peter, Justin, Victor, Hardy, Rod, F84 player, Zeta, Pearl Jam, Peter, Dragon, Terry, Stephen, Kevin, Carlton, Easy, and Owen. Thank you all so much for going that extra mile to support the channel. And that's a Forza Thumb Weekly Challenge complete. <laughs> Here, have some Forza Thumb points. So, what would you like to do now? And after smashing up cactuses for five to 10 minutes, we earn 500,000 skill score, Finishing off chapter four, drive it like you stole it. Which means we have completed this week's Force on Challenges, wouldn't it be lovely? 81 Force on Points in the bank and five points towards our festival playlist. If you've got any questions about the weekly of Force on Challenges or the festival playlist in Forza Horizon 5, do hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. I hope you found this video helpful. Definitely consider subscribing. Like I say, we're trying to reach 20,000 subscribers. A like rating would be much appreciated. Stay safe, guys, and have an awesome day.